Here's a little look at the RP-1000. There are plenty of reviews and demos of it, but there's some stuff that a lot of folks don't talk about in the reviews that I think folks need to know about and the reason why I'm going to be returning this. It's a great unit, but there are some things that make it not usable for a live situation, um, like for presets and whatnot. Um, when you go back and forth between the presets, uh, from preset to preset, first off, your delays do not carry over. And uh, for example, uh, I'm not in pedal board mode right now, I'm just in preset mode. I'm going to do uh, one preset with delay and an identical one. It's just going to be my amp. Nothing but my amp and delay, just for example. Alright, the repeats on this are a really large value, so it should repeat for a good long time once we change presets, if it does that, but it doesn't. So we'll just go ahead and illustrate that. See, they just died all together when we did that. And not only that, but there was a noticeable drop out of the volume. The only thing that's changing about the preset is that there is delay not on this one. 17. 16 has delay. As you can see, you may be able to see the light is on. 17, the only difference is there's no delay. So again, an example of the switch over. Delay just drops out entirely. So yeah, there is a definite noticeable volume drop when you switch patches. So those are the bad things about it. The good thing about it is uh, what you can uh, control parameters with uh, switches 6 through 10, and also with the uh, expression pedal, also the LFOs, the low frequency oscillator, which you can control, which I've actually done. And you can cheat your way into using a tremolo in addition to any other mod pedal that you would want to do, which you normally can't do. It's kind of a way of cheating the board which I kind of found out that you can do. So anyway, first we got to put this in pedal board mode. And just like that, you're done. So let's go to the patch that I have set up for that, which is in user bank uh, 11 to 15. So user bank 3, get timed out, try it again. There we go. Okay, so here we have it set up. All right, now see I'm not touching anything. That's, uh, that's one of the LFOs is controlling whether this effect is on or off and it's an octave effect that is toggling entirely on or entirely off. And you just hit the chorus thing, because again we're in pedal board mode. If I turn that, that's the chorus effect, the mod switch to turn that effect on or off. Now it's entirely off. But say, I'm just going to undo that, just to make sure that it's off. Okay, now, so just so you can see how easy it is to program this thing. All right, now again, I want to put on an octave effect, and I want it to be an octave up, and I want to control it with an LFO, a low frequency oscillation that I don't control at all. I just set the speed and I leave it. I don't have to mess with anything on the board once the preset is brought up. Because if I was going to use the expression pedal, I would have to constantly be on or off the thing, and I don't want to mess with it. I just want it to do all the work. So, here we go. First off, let's go ahead and edit and put that back on. And uh, we'll go ahead and undo the expression pedal assignment as well. LFO 1, and you see right now it is mix. We want to turn it off. So you turn all the way to the left for no link and store. All right. Let's turn this on again. All right, now, where's the shift? The mix is at zero, so we got to go ahead and turn that up, of course, so you can hear it. Now you hear that high octave on there. It's really dominant if you do that. You can also uh, pre or post, before or after the amp, and right now I am using the uh, the amp loop, just like that. Let me get out of edit mode again. Get back to that unity gain of 15. Now my amp loop is on. So I'm going to go and edit my amp select, and I did have an amp model on, but I'm going to turn it all the way down to direct, so now it is just the amp that I have running, which is an Egnator tweaker. Now again, when I go down to edit chorus, and see just like that I went down from editing the amp to editing the chorus effect, um, you can select pre or post, so after, in the amp's effects loop, which sounds dramatically different. Okay, now we've got that all set up. Now if I want to have the LFO 
control that, which I do, or first I guess a good thing we do would be to, um, in the expression row, highlight the expression pedal, because for a minute we're going to assign the octave effect to the expression pedal. So it's of course by default no link, and we want it to be the mix of the chorus effect. So we'll go ahead and go to mix. Alright, and there you see we can control it that way. But the problem with that is, when it's assigned to the expression pedal, it is going to fade from all the way off to all the way on, and that's not how I want the effect to be. So, that won't work. So let's go ahead and take it back to no link, and we will go straight to... Uh, just for the sake of showing it off that this is also easy, we'll go ahead and assign it to effects 7, since I'm not running a distortion pedal. We'll just go to effects switch 7, and now that is going to control... It was on, distortion on, as you may have seen in the uh, display. I'm not sure how well you can see that. We'll go ahead and set this to mix. All on or all off. Now you can also do two different places within, you know, between 0 and 99. You can still pick two points for it to jump back and forth between. It doesn't have to be all the way on or all the way off. Like it could be, uh, let's see, uh, let's try 73 and like 30. Why not? That's 30, 73, 30. All right, now let's go ahead and take it off FX6 and put it on the LFO. All right, and now LFO, we have to tell it what we want the LFO to control, and that would be, again, mix for this chorus effect. And there we are, all the way on or all the way off. And again, you have to set the, uh, the maximum and the minimum values. So again, all the way on, all the way off is with the way that I wanted this one done. So it's all set up. And we will um, we'll change the speed. You can do that as well. Uh, also, the sign of the wavelength, square or sine or triangle, but square, to really emphasize the all all the way on or all the way off. And uh, over here, all the way on the right, is where you control the uh, frequency. and then store, if that's the way you want it to work. And just for the sake of doing it, just to show you how easy it is to go ahead and change the name to something. Store, first it takes you into naming the preset. So uh, this is BNS verse one, because for the first verse of the song called Bought and Sold by the Tyler Warren Band, um, this is the effect that Tyler used on the record. But you can do anything else, we'll just call it Dagummit. Why not? So the second knob um, picks which character you're programming, and then the first knob is assigning the letter to it. So, let's see how quickly we can do a little speed test for the word daggummit. And there you go. Now there is underscore, which is, where is underscore? Because there's one that blinks a little faster, and that's the actual space. There's space. It's blinking a little faster than underscore. You can hear a little bit of noise, so we're going to go ahead and change that as well. Turning the noise gate on, which is as simple as highlighting it and pushing knob 1 like it's a button, and the gate is automatically on. First uh, knob is the threshold for that noise gate, and at 22 you can't hear it anymore. But anyway, there you go. That's the RP-1000.